here. Today I am bringing you another product review and ketone test video. Today I am testing something that I'm really excited to see how it works, um, and that's the high key cereal. I have the frosted cereal, this one here, and um, I'm going to have a serving of it and then test my ketones in an hour and two hours and see how they affect my ketones. So let me go over the uh, nutrition and the ingredients. The serving size is a half of a cup, 90 calories, 5 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, uh, 3 dietary fiber, 6 erythritol, and 2 allulose, so it's 0 net carbs, 10 grams of protein. Pretty good. The ingredients, uh, milk protein isolate, erythritol, medium chain triglycerides, uh, inulin, allulose syrup, uh, sunflower lecithin, natural vanilla flavors, salt, and monk fruit extract. The box is pretty small, but with uh, high key products, if you buy them on Amazon, you basically get them for like buy one, get one free because they have the still hungry, they have these still hungry stickers. All those stickers are is um, you go to a website, I think it's onemoresnack.com and uh, you enter in your Amazon order number and then you have um, like seven different options of a high key product and you select the option and they'll ship it to you for free. So a lot of the time what I've noticed is um, one of the options will be the product that you purchase. So if I did it for this high key cereal, then the high key cereal would be an option for me. Um, this is the bag. They're basically, they look like Rice Krispie treats. I'm going to measure out a serving. So this is what a serving looks like. It's 28 grams. Um, it's a pretty decent size, but I obviously would be having at least two of these <laughs> for like my traditional bowl of cereal, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. It's, it looks like Rice Krispies basically. Mmm. So the marshmallow kind of flavor hits you right away. It basically is a cereal that tastes like Rice Krispie treats. So my brother had said that when he tried it, um, and he doesn't do keto. So I feel like that's a pretty accurate description. I think the flavor is better than Rice, um, Rice Krispies because it tastes like Rice Krispie treats. Um, the crunch is definitely harder than Rice Krispies. They're not as light and airy. They're a little more dense. Um, I've had this in milk and it doesn't soften up in milk. And what happens is, um, the flavoring kind of dissipates in the milk. So I suggest having it out of milk, but it's like, that's the point of having cereals to have it in milk. So, um, I'm not going to have it in milk. I'm just going to have it as is. Um, I could do it in milk, but I, I basically, this isn't my first box of high key, so I know how it reacts. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and have this, uh, and then test my ketones in an hour and see where they're at. Okay. So it's been an hour since I had the high key cereal. I'm going to test my ketones and see where they're at now. They were last at a 0.4. Last it was at a point four. Okay, so it went up. Great news. I am gonna test my ketones in another hour and see if they change at all. Okay, it has been just about two hours since I um, had the high key cereal. So I'm going to test my ketones again and see where they're at now. Okay. One hour ago, they were at a 0.8. Hmm. Okay. So overall, it seems like the high key cereal rose my ketones. So I'm really happy with that because I was kind of thinking that the whole zero net carb thing was a little too good to be true, but I'm really happy that um, they are not negatively affecting my ketones because that it's awesome. Now, 
I might not be able to have it because I want more than just one serving, but um, if you have more self-control than me, then it could be a good option for cereal. Um, but those are my two or three thoughts. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions for any products that you want me to review in the future. Um, but that's all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.